So I hope you like the new format. We're really focusing in on those problem solving skills. Again, everyone together, we have a look at the solution and then there's a way of going deeper afterwards. Um, now today's task, I'm really hoping that a lot of you will get to that extend task and you'll find all the possible answers to that. Um, so it'd be great to see how you get on with that. And um, we'll get started with again, a little recap from yesterday. Well, let's start today by looking at yesterday's extend task, which was this. Uh, the sum of the digits for a number is 11. All the digits are different. What's the largest a number could be? What's the smallest a number can be? Well, I'm going to start with thinking, what's the smallest a number could be? And to get the number that's as small as possible, well, first of all, I'm going to go for a two-digit number, because if the sum of the digits is 11, I couldn't do that with, with a single-digit number, of course. So the smallest a number could be, so let's have a think about numbers with a, where the sum of the digits is 11, and I would go for using the digits 9 and 2, because I want to make one of the digits as small as possible. So there's other combinations, like, like let's say, 5 and 6, but then, um, so the smallest I can make there is 56, whereas here I can make 29. And of course, the significant thing is the, um, in this case, the value in the tens. So I want to make that as small as possible. And it's okay, the ones being more. Um, now, when I'm thinking about the sum of the digits of a number is 11, all the digit, uh, digits are different. Um, how large could the number be? I want to use as many digits as possible to make the number as large as possible. So let's have a think about the digits I'm likely to want to use. Definitely, I'll use a zero somewhere. Um, and um, one and two. So now, there, the sum of those digits so far is three. And let's have a think if I use the three, then the sum of the digits is six. Um, then if I went for a five, um, then I've got some of the digits is 11. And there I've got a one, two, three, four, five digit number. Um, so then I just need to think about how, do, how am I going to order those digits to make this, this number as large as possible. So of course what I'll go for is five, three, two, one, zero. So there we've got 53,210. So I've got a challenge for you today, which I think you're really going to like, called Number Detective. So we're going to build up the skills to be able to get there, first of all. And then you're going to have a go at the task. We'll look at it and, and, and um, solutions. And then there's another one that you can move on to as well. So today is all about you, more of you having that time doing that problem solving. Uh, let's do the little introduction beforehand. Um, so these three numbers are multiples of three. I, I know they're multiples of three. Um, and, and how do I know that? Because if I multiply 3, I, I would get these numbers. Now, here, 3 times 7 is 21. I can just use my times table recall to know that. Um, now, I know that 3 times 5 is 15, so 3 times 50 is 150. And actually, I know that 171 is a multiple of 3. Now, I might not instantly have recognised that, but you notice it's actually a part of 150, which is a multiple of 3, and 21. Add those two together, 171. So 171 must be a multiple of 3 as well. Have a look at these two numbers, um, which are multiples of 3. How do you know? And then can you list the multiples of 3 that are in the range 100 to 110? Which ones are multiples of 3? How do you know? Uh, pause the video and have a go at those tasks. Okay, and when you're ready. Um, well, I know straight away that 59 isn't. And actually, because I know that 60 is... Um, 60 is a multiple of 3, cause, um, because 3, I know 10 times 3 is 30, 20 times 3 is 60, 59 is 1 less than that, so I know it's not a multiple of 3. Now 42, I actually just split that up into 30, a multiple of 3, and 12, another multiple of 3, so I know that 42 is a multiple of 3. Um, now multiples of 3 in the range 100 to 110. Now there's a few ways you could do this. I think I actually multiplied up to get to 99. I know that 99 is a multiple of 3. But you could have gone to 120 and counted down. But anyway, so I went up to 99 and added on another 3. That got me to 102. Another 3, 105. And another 3, 108. Now, that's hopefully giving you the practice to get going today. Um, and you're going to use that and also use some of the digits knowledge, which of course we've looked at already, to have a go at this task, which is one that I really, really like. So, and again, you're going to have a good long effort at this and then we've got some things for you to move on to. So, the sum of the digits in a two-digit number is 13. So we've looked at what we mean by the sum of the digits. The number is a multiple of four. Now, what is that number? There's your task. Pause the video and have a go. So let's have a look at the process of answering this question. 
Um, digits with a sum of 13 for this two digit number. Well, I could use a nine and a four. Nine plus four is 13. I could use an eight and a five. I can use a seven and a six, and they're my three possibilities. So then I've just got to think, well, which numbers can be made um, using those digits with those sums of 13? Well, 94 and 49, 85 and 58, 76 and 67. Mm, so which one fits our rule then? Multiples of four? It is 76, the only one. I could discount the odd numbers, and then I could check 94 and 58, but actually 76 is the only one that does. I, I, I know that 80 is a multiple of four, that's how I calculated that. Subtracted that four, 76. So for your extend task, we've got a development on that main task. Uh, I really like this one. Um, the sum of the digits of a three digit number is three, just three. And the number is a multiple of three. So list all the possible values for that number. Now I wonder how many there are, how many you can find. Uh, you'll see how many there are at the bottom and we'll recap on this tomorrow as well. So love that challenge. Enjoy it if you've got that far and I'm going to see you back tomorrow.